All right, everyone, we're in the final sort of press conference for E3 this year. Nintendo's wrapping up this week with their digital event, or it's not their digital event, but their treehouse showing off. Finally, some new gameplay footage of Zelda Wii U slash NX. It's been about a year and a half since we last saw gameplay for, the, for this. And we haven't gotten any new details since then. And this game's been getting pushed back with delays after delays. And now we're up to the point that it's going to be released for both the Wii U and NX respectively, like how Twilight Princess was for the GameCube and the Wii. Hmm. Let me just chop out one mentally star here. I also heard that we'll put. If I guess right, we will get a couple other games that are in Zelda in the treehouse, but only Zelda will be playable on the show floor. I will put out a vlog later today on my whole experiences about E3 as a whole this year. But other than that, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy our last major event for E3 this year. And once again, I have to get my volume down since it's nearly 1 o'clock in the morning here in Japan, so I gotta keep myself quiet for my neighbors. So I'm not gonna be reacting too loudly. Alright, it's 1 o'clock. Or technically 8. I Uh, yep, should be starting now. I can hear background audio. Oh, the game is ready. <laughs> I hear it counting down. Four, three, two, one. Hey, Reggie! Hi, this is Reggie from Nintendo. Before we begin, we want to extend our condolences to all the victims of the two tragic events in Orlando. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts are with their families and their communities. And this includes Christina Grimmie, who was killed in the earlier incident and was scheduled to visit us here at our E3 booth this week. Mm -hmm. At yeah, Nintendo, voice. we try to make our fans smile. But this week at E3, we'll also be shedding a few tears. Please join me in a moment of silence. That sucks. I mean, I only recently read an article that she was also a very huge Nintendo fan. Alright, here we go. It's not, a, it's not a digital event, but it's something. E3 2016, their treehouse event. If you've been a fan of Nintendo over the years, you'll know that the Nintendo experience is different at every E3. We always look for the best way to introduce our most important content. And this year is no different. And that's why we're coming to you directly from our show booth on the set of Nintendo Treehouse Live. On the other side of the wall behind me, the finishing touches are being made before we open it up to thousands of industry insiders in just a couple of hours. Hmm. Okay. That space will immerse visitors in the world of a single game, the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda franchise. Ooh, Zelda. What's in store is an entirely new format for a Zelda game. Three decades ago, the first Zelda game changed the way millions of people thought about video games. And this week, you'll discover a game that could change that thinking again. Here's the first look at what awaits. Ooh, got new trailer. Open your eyes. What the? Voice acting? Did I just hear voice acting in Zelda? That's not CDI. Wow. Man, look at the scenery. 
And it's been so long since we last saw this place. Mm -hmm. Looks really cool. Ooh, a Hyrule. Is that Hyrule Castle? That's too much in ruins. It must be temple, I think. Open your eyes. Okay, I wasn't hearing anything. That was a voice. So, are we having voice acting in the Zelda game now? Wake up, Link. Whoa! It's Link! <laughs> they verbally acknowledged him as Link now. It's can't. It's completely confirmed now that it's Link forevermore. And was that Ze Zelda's voice telling him? sword The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild There's our title <laughs> After two and a half two years we finally have a title for this game Breath of the Wild Oh my god, this is going to sound here. Fun! The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild introduces you to a Hyrule that is truly seamless. Where simply moving from one place to another begins to create what may be the adventure of a lifetime. And not only is this new world vast, but it feels alive. It teems with adventure. Throughout Link's quest, Hyrule will be a resource, an ally, an enemy, and always a place for discovery and wonder. This is easily one of the biggest experiences ever created by Nintendo. And today, you're going to get a close-up look. I can see why it took the so long. The portion of the game we're highlighting at E3, a wide-ranging plateau, may seem huge. In fact, no one here this week will be able to explore all <coughs> But even then, that plateau is only a tiny fraction of the full game map. We'll be devoting almost this full first day of Nintendo Treehouse Live coverage to just this one environment. Then in the future, you'll learn more about the story, the characters, and the ways in which the boundaries of all previous Zelda titles are being broken. But in the end, full understanding and full immersion will only come when you experience it for yourself. However, before we show you this biggest adventure for Wii U and NX, we're going to show you the biggest new adventure coming up for Nintendo 3DS. Ooh. As you've heard, there are two new core Pokemon titles oh, yeah, the on the Pokemon. way yes, on November 18th. Pokemon footage. Please. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. As always, you'll pick which new starter Pokemon to partner with. Of course. <laughs> but which one to choose? Exactly what kind of battling awaits you? And what does the new Alola region have in store for players? Well, 
We figured there was no one better equipped to answer those questions than the two key developers of the game itself, producer Junichi Matsuda and director uh, Shigeru Omori of Game Freak. Matsuda. So before we devote the rest of the day to the Legend of Zelda, mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it over to the Treehouse team along with Mr. Matsuda and Mr. Omori to show you what it's like to start as a Pokemon trainer in the first ever live gameplay demonstration of Pokemon mm -hmm. Sun gameplay. and Pokemon Moon. So let's jump in. Take it away, Sam and Terry. Thanks, Reggie. And thanks to everyone watching for tuning in and joining us for another Nintendo Treehouse Live. Uh, We're really yes. excited to get started. So Pokemon as uh, Reggie mentioned, I'm Sam baby. from Nintendo. And joining me up here, I've got Terry from Nintendo and my colleague David from TVCI. And we've also got a very special lion. guest, uh, Masuda-san and Omori-san from Game Freak, who are joining us to chat about Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Kumbawa. Now, uh, Pokemon it's fans already know that you guys have a Morning very long history of working with the Pokemon franchise. But can you tell our viewers a little bit more about what you guys are doing specifically with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? まあ、2人ともあのポケモンの開発に so this is the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, as I think many of you know. And mm -hmm. when thinking about the future of Pokemon, uh, I've decided that I would be the producer uh, on this title and also and pass over the uh, director role over to Shigeru Omori here for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I'm Shigeru Omori from Game Freak, and I was the director on this game, overseeing the entire development of it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I know you brought some art assets that we can take a look at to introduce folks to the Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Sun collection. But first, we've actually got some video footage that you brought for us. So, uh, folks watching, if you sit tight, we're actually going to get that queued up for you so you can take a look. Ooh, yes, morning footage. Please show us a new Pokemon. Also, as we saw previously, it doesn't seem any different from what we saw last time. In fact, it's pretty much it's very similar to the trailer we saw before, it's just the frame rate's much lower. Lark? Uh, no, it's supposed to sound like a sea lion. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, but they're still showing the same footage we saw before. And Sorry for that song, I did it, but I ended up going by. Yellow and still choose to look for him. Go check the food. Again, we're not really seeing anything different right now. Yeah, I didn't see anything different. In the All right, so there's a lot for us to talk about just from the footage there. <laughs> uh, the first thing I'd like to actually uh, ask you is uh, if you could tell us a little bit more about the background of why you went with Sun and Moon as the titles for these games. まあ、今の映像で結構話す内容というのが出てきたんですけれども、え、まずはそうですね、あの、ま、
あの見せられたりとかって、まあ、その一番影響のあるもの、えー、3点分っていうのをタイトルにしました。There are a variety of meanings、uh, behind the titles, but one of the main things is that, for example, for here on Earth, obviously, the sun、uh, really is the source of all life、uh, on this planet. And in the same way in the Pokemon world, it's also the、uh, source of life on the planet. And the moon also affects、uh, all of our lives here as well. And with this game, we really wanted to express this kind of feeling of a region really teeming with life. So we felt that sun and moon would be an, an appropriate title for the game. I think, especially thinking about these big elemental forces, sun and the moon,、uh, we also need to talk about those legendaries that are on the packaging, because I think folks are going to really want to hear a little bit more about、uh, what they can expect from those Pokemon. So, Tayo, or Matsuki, no son, they know, Tano, Arawa, so, Rio, and Lunala, so, Rio, and Lunala, so, Rio, and Lunala, モノガタリジタイニー、ハナリ、カンケシティクル、ニシキニナリマスンデ、タノシミニ、シティクコシナトモイマス。So, in, in the games, the legends say that、uh, Solgaleo and、uh, Lunala are the emissaries of the sun and the moon, respectively.、Uh, and they, these two legendary Pokemon actually they kind of play a unique role. They tie into the story in a unique way that we really haven't done with pairs of. Uh, legendary Pokemon before us. I think fans will be really excited about、hmm. it. So they're t e c h n i c a l l y something really that has been spiritual done in the series before. We get in these games. I won't talk about that too much yet because I know we're saving some surprises. But on the subject of legendaries, I know、um, you recently had an event in Taiwan where you revealed some news about another legendary Pokemon folks remember from XY and what they might expect from that Pokemon in these games.、Uh, we can maybe talk about that a little bit too. Just a dense Pokemon. I'm going to say that in Taiwan, I'm going to say that in Taiwan, I'm going to say that in Taiwan, I'm going to say that in Taiwan. Zygarde's 10% form and complete form that was shown in the world. So, unless it's part of the main story or post story, I'm more going into the wrong lines as to be post story. But, in the past, Zygarde was the point of the point. So, Zygarde, the Pokemon that One of the legendary Pokemon that appeared in、uh, originally in、oh, Pokemon X and Y. It has recently showed off yeah, their,、uh, the 10% form, form, form and complete form、uh, in the games. And these Pokemon will, or these forms, will appear in Pokemon Sun and Moon kind of a, a, in a special way that I think、uh, people will be excited about. Ah, they look Ooh, so cool. So they appear in the story. And, and actually,、uh, here, since we're looking at a little bit of the Alola region in the background,、uh, this is probably a good chance to talk、uh, maybe a little bit more detail about the Alola region and what players can maybe expect there. まあどんまあ、これどんな地方なのかというのを教えてもらえますかそうですね、えー、と今回のアローラ地方なんですけども、えー、と他の陸地とつながっていない、えー、と地方となっていますなので、えー、とアローラ地方固有のポケモンが住んでいます、えー、アローラ地方っていう名前なんですけども、えー、と名前の由来としては、えー、命を育みで、まあ、命を育み生命力にあふれる大地と。ます。Yeah, I think it's really interesting since it's not connected to any of the other regions. You've、yeah. got this really interesting area of isolation, and we're seeing all these Pokemon that nobody's ever run into before, and it's almost kind of feels like the Galapagos Islands, where you've got this really interesting remote area where all these other creatures are, are popping up, and you've got new Pokemon and a really cool environment as well to explore. <laughs> たくさん。今回特に、えー、と動きについてすごく意識して作ってまして、まあえー、とバトル中だったりとか、ま
えっ、ー、といろんな時にこう動きが可愛くなるようなデザインとして作られています。<笑> so、cute, really game, like、example, battle, game, あとあのやっぱりこう世界中の人が見てまあこう分かりやすい。えー、デザインであったりとか、うん、あのタイプのカラー、まあ、草タイプだったらグリーンが入っていたりとかっていうその分かりやすさっていうのをやっぱりあの最初の3匹は大事にしています。I think what folks have seen already from the animations that we've shown in a little bit of video footage we've been able to share, they, they have a lot of personality.、Um, I actually picked Poplio because I'm a hardcore water starter fan. My first was a Squirtle and I've stuck with them. But I've been having a great time so far, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what other folks pick when they get into the starters as well. <laughs> it's interesting actually what you talked about with the, the design of the starter Pokemon. And I think they also really fit nicely in with the kind of tropical climate and environment we've got. And I know that's something that you worked in with the design of the player characters as well this time around. っていうのを表現する、えー、まあ地方ですね、えー、表現するためにかなり軽装にしています。ああ、そうや、obviously the region this time the climate there is extremely warm so we wanted to make sure that the characters designs were more lightly dressed than they maybe other designs have in the past。I think fans will notice the proportions are different, especially when we get into gameplay in a couple seconds here.、Um, they're going to see it's, it's, it's a little different how they're used to seeing their characters in the game. So, yeah, we,、uh, we changed the proportions this time to be more realistic. We really wanted to kind of increase this sense of immersion, and I think you'll、uh, see that when we get into the game. Yeah, and I, I don't know if I can talk about this yet, but sharp eyed viewers probably noticed that both of those、uh, pieces of art, there was an interesting bracelet that the players were wearing. I don't know if we can, <laughs> probably can't talk about that just yet.はい。そうですねあの、こんな早い段階で実はあのライブでも行うのは初めてで、あのー、どんなポケモンが出るかっていうのもちょっと世界初公開のポケモンも登場するかもしれないんで、ちょっと待ってください。そうですね、えーと、主人公はですね、アローラ地方に引っ越してきたばかりという設定になっています。で今回、すでに、まあ、少し進めていまして、最初のポケモンはすでに、えー、もらっています。今からリリータウンというところでお祭りが開催されるのでそこに向かうところです。So at this point in the game, it's a little bit、uh, slightly into it, but it's、uh, the, the player actually had just moved to the Alola region、uh, the other day, and、uh, one day previous to where we are in the game, he actually、uh, received his first partner Pokemon for his adventure. And right now, we're actually on the way to a neighboring town where there's a, a festival.、Oh. And I think here we、uh, <laughs> can see what we were talking <laughs> about earlier. <laughs> oh, you're just jumping into the low grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you Pokemon, please! Oh, Ladybug! Okay, we can see the layout now. So, as you can see in the Alola region, obviously it's not just new Pokemon that are unique to the Alola region, but from other regions you see Pokemon. The battle music is more upbeat. The battle music is more upbeat. 
ポケモンの後ろにいるっていうところを再現してますね。こういう感じで。In battle, you see the trainer is actually standing behind、uh, the, po the Pokemon、uh, in the battle. So, you really want to express this、uh, feeling of the trainer always being with his or her Pokemon. Yeah, I'd love to talk about that in a little bit more detail here because I feel like there's so much that you've done with、um, uh, the way the battle looks in this game to make it feel really intense and really immersive. I was wondering if we could talk、so、a little bit more about that with what you did now with、um, that the lighting and the dynamic camera. Pokemon 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 I think here Terry's going to stay still for a second to let us see how the camera is is moving around, and this is something that'll just happen for you if you're staying still in the battle for a moment, and you really get a good chance to get a look at these Pokemon and the area that you're in and the environment. Pound, water gun, angler. Oh, even tells you if it's effective or super effective or not effective at all. はい。初心者にも結構、えー、優しい感じの、えー、インターフェースにちょっと前に、まあ、今まで違う印象があるんですけれども、はい、どういう、えー、変更を加えたんでしょうかそうですね、まあ、今回、とても、えー、と親切なというか、説明がいろいろ入れています、例えばその、えー、とインフォメーションボタンがあるんですけれども、そちらをタッチすると、今、その技がどんな技かというのを一目で分かるようになっています。<笑>そうですね、そうですね、今回、ロバックローフェクトが起きています。What the move is, like what type it is, that's cool. I think it's been so helpful. There, there are just so many Pokemon that you have to, to keep in mind now as you're battling. It's so nice to be able to pull it up, and if maybe you don't quite remember what something does, being able to pop it up really fast. It's like you don't have to use that information, but if maybe now, your memory's not as good as it used to be, and you need it, it's so nice to be able to pull that up and take a look. It shows that they've been working really hard on the 3D models now. 例えば今、えー、とレディバの方をタッチしてもらいますと、えー、と今どんな状態かというのが分かるようになっています。You can tap oh, you can now check when their stats are lowered. Nice. Wow, that's a burst for the series. You can check how much stats are lowered. Yeah, let's see how this battle goes. Are you, are you planning on trying to capture this? I'm going to begin my quest、or? to catch them all. Okay, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, so,、um, just to, to bring up for folks who maybe haven't played a Pokemon. And it lags, but.、Uh, Game before、um, battling Pokemon, oh wow, that capture animation was pretty cool. You're going out into the world, you're doing Pokemon、him. battling. Oh, this is the most stressful moment. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're able to catch this Pokemon.、Um, but it's a really interesting Hooray, game lady, but, uh, in battle and strategy. And, in,、uh, and you still get experience from capturing a Pokemon, too. And, oh, oh, wow. Good job. And it was nice there too, seeing how the the level up change. What do you say? Lady Bug. Oh, this is actually something that we should talk about as well.、Um, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about、um, what they're seeing on the upper screen here? Pretty much, the screen is updated. It seems that the Pokemon Dex has got some updated from how it will function. That's how it looks. Yeah, it's a blue monster ball. But it's a black space. 例えばその捕まえたポケモンのまあ進化後かそれとももしかしたらペアとなるポケモンが出てくるかもしれないっていう
風に演出しています。いろいろこうどんなポケモンがいるんだろうと考えながら育てたりとかしてほしいなと思います。So really、Recording my reaction to this if I get too tired as I wasn't planning to stay up the whole night and watch the whole event. If it was like a regular E3 back home in the middle of the afternoon, I would be up for a whole thing. Empty space, go out and search and you know, catch all different types of Pokemon and kind of complete their Pokedex. Yes,、yeah, so、especially exciting, I think, when you find one and there's lots of white Pokeballs and you're just like, oh, okay. So it's an AP. It's got a lot of work to do. It was fun. It was a party. Oh, there's a Pokeball in there. Oh, there's another one. Susan, there's another one. Oh! 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 Young Goose. Young Goose. It's a Mongoose Pokemon. Oh, right. We got Mongoose. It's a Mongoose. It's a Mongoose. I love its face. It's just the teeth. Oh, man. We got. This is cool. A Mongoose Pokemon. Don't we have that? Like, what? Oh my god, I'm trying to remember <laughs> the name of the other Pokemon. Oh, oh, oh it's close. close.、Uh, the one that's a rival of Survivor. You'll probably be able to catch this one. Zangoose. We're on our way. Oh, that's two down. <laughs> Oops. Capturing yeah, young goose.、Like、most stressful seconds in any Pokemon player's life. I want to pause so I can the... capture the、oh. Pokedex entry. Yeah, for... oh. Yay! And actually, this will give us a chance to maybe take a look at the Pokedex. So we've got a new Pokemon to check out. Ah, what are you doing? I want to see what number it is. And the Pokedex. Why show us the picture of the Rogue Town Pokedex? You tease. Guess you still want to keep things a surprise for us. So we've got some、uh, some interesting changes. Which helps you、uh, in your adventure. So it'll tell you information about、uh, Pokemon that you really. And Christy can show us. Oh, we've got the potion on the side. Okay, and then of course the stream has to lag on me and. Uh, not only the trainer's proportions, but also the the movement is a little bit different than what、um, so、folks who played previous Pokemon games、yeah. expected. Do we even have the running shoes? So this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, so So you see that、uh, trainer spot lady over there, or the girl throwing a Pokeball up and down, and、uh, so she's a Pokemon trainer, and what,、uh, she she's wants to fight really battle, badly. What that kind of、uh, shadow that appears in the screen indicates is that there's a that she's going to challenge you to a battle, so it kind of increases this sense of、They're、tension. They're doing a lot more on the aesthetics. Indicates that to the players. So I can either avoid her or actually battle her. Yeah, cool. Battle her. Oh, Sakiru Kaka. I think we'll learn battle her. Yeah, it feels like that moment where two people are glaring at each other, ready to fight. <laughs> But it is really nice if you're in a position where maybe you're trying to get somewhere really quickly, or you're、oh, Pokemon so, learning、so、great shape right now. You don't want to fight. It's it's nice to have nice. that position where you can avoid it before you just kind of stumble、so、yourself the, into a battle. So even the regular enemies, so like, just even the regular trainer, can kind of do well, have moving character models. It's not restricted to like special trainers. I think as we can see here,、uh, we'll、see the other the trainer as well.、Nice. And it's really nice actually、and、just to get a, such a good look at the Pokemon proportions alongside their trainers. Oh, so they're trying to go like scaling now. Trying to go like close to their original size. So you know, so you know. トレーナーがいることによって表現できているっていうのが今回の新しいところですね。いや、それは一つの新しいことです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しいところです。今回の新しい
And I think from the experience I've had at the Yakuza playing this game, it's really going to surprise people when they take a look at just how big and small certain Pokemon are when yeah. actually standing right next to them. あと、え、トレーナーごとにですね、色々こう、モーションを工夫してまして、例えばボールを投げ方だったりとか、ま、ポケモンに指示を出す仕草とか、ま、そういったものが細やかに設計されています。エンディングポーズ。エンディングポー
その先もバトルが待ってるので、それがいいんじゃないかと。Judging it was 10, that means it's, it was the next, it's the next Pokemon in Pokedex after the、uh, all the three starters and their evolutionary forms. So, at least we now we know that. And from those two Pokeball symbols, that means it has two more evolutions. So, it's a three stage evolution. And I'm just seeing it from just that one image. And、um, they're lagging on me again. He's actually the、uh, guy who gives you your first、uh, partner Pokemon in your adventure. A very strong trainer on this island. Whoa! Is that a. Oh, it's how. Okay, so we're playing from the sun version of the game. So, this is how, and you're about to battle him actually、uh, as part of this festival. Oh, you have a Pokemon in your. Is that supposed to be a carrier? He's a professor who specializes in researching Pokemon moves, like their attacks and such. Yeah, I think based on the fan response I've seen, he is quickly becoming the most dreamy <laughs> professor. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> 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 so, you have a Pokemon、uh, in that little bag of yours, Lily. She's an assistant of Professor Kukui, and she's not a Pokemon trainer, but she'll join you on your adventure throughout the story. And your viewers may have noticed her bag is kind of interesting. So she may have a, she has a Pokemon in her bag. <laughs> She'll dress on the journey. All right, we have a Pokemon battle. But I think it's time we go into the festival battle. So, I think it's going to be really interesting for fans of the series to see this battle and, and the space.、Mm. Uh, the way that Pokemon and Pokemon yeah, battles are integrated with the culture、Whoa. in these islands is really interesting. And you get these amazing battle spaces where other folks are、oh, gathering around and, and watching you guys fight. そうですね。まあえっと今回このお祭りなんですけども、えっと二人の旅立ちをまあ祝うというか不意儀式になっています。え戦った後にこの二人は島を巡る冒険が始まるというストーリーになっています。So in this,、uh, this particular festival, actually, this is kind of a, a celebration or a way to kind of kick off both you and Hao's adventures to kind of travel across the island. So it's kind of a, a ritual in this society.、Mm. And、uh, folks may have noticed there was、uh, another thing we're, we can't really talk about too much, but just to mention Tapu Koko.、Ah, so、worth paying attention to that name. So my favorite p o r t i t Pichu's not the best choice to have.、Uh, and so, how about a Pichu? Who looks adorable. <laughs> Switch out the Pokemon! Don't lose this time, Jerry. Leave it to me. Makasu, t e Oh, it doesn't have any physical attacks. A growl's useless against it at this point.、And、here we can see, see what he's done for checking、me. different effects. Uh, uh, you can see both your change status changes as well as the opponent's status changes、mm -hmm. to really see what's going on in the battle. So, looking at this tropical environment, I'm really hoping that you guys were able to pull this trip to some nice tropical locations, maybe. I mean, for、Pokemon. research, it's work. <laughs> So we saw with the icons as the battle started,、um, I think Hal has one more Pokemon to go. 
パオはあと、ね、ちがあと一匹ですね。はい。This army boy. Oh, and you skill nice. Oh, she was a little stronger. There we see one of the other new starters. Yabi, なんですけども、えっと。一回実はもう見ているという設定になってまして、えっ、ー、と戦うとですね、えっ、ー、と一回見たことある人間はどれが効果が抜群かというのがインターフェースになっています。So at this point in the story, you see uh how it's another one of the first one that you can choose your adventure, but you've actually encountered uh you battled against a man who's lit in once in the story, and so once you've in Pokemon Sun and Moon, once you've battled the Pokemon once, the next time you battle it, you'll get information on your move list about which moves are effective and which ones aren't. Oh. So if you once you use moves on it, it'll figure out like if it's best to use it or not. So just explaining that you know, water gun is super effective. Yeah, what it means. I think I'll stick with that one. Yeah, just showing them all. Well, yeah, see. This is gonna be much better. So it's just coming back to make it all very easy to understand for even beginners of the games. Oh. That really is so nice to have that information. I think especially when you're trying to catch more Pokemon. And you're like, okay, I, I actually maybe don't want to be super effective yeah. right now. I need to kind of whittle this Pokemon down. So, yeah. being able to remember, maybe you want to use your weaker attacks sometimes, just to kind of get them yeah. just to that point. Yeah. Ah. 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 
So yeah, it's a free-for-all, and of course, you know, you could have three people gang up on one really strong mm -hmm. person, or you really have to kind of determine your strategy about how you're going to, you know, which order you're going to defeat Pokemon, who you're going to focus on, right. so totally new uh, gameplay down. Yeah, it is interesting how, how much more intense it That's feels, where I'm used to just looking at the trainer in front of me and fighting them, and suddenly it's like, oh, there's two more trainers. I have to pay attention to everybody. And folks Seems walking like there, you can't I mean, use items that the trainers there were wearing different outfits from what we saw with the... Uh, the regular player characters that we've shown off so far. We can't really talk about that yet, but worth noticing. So yeah, you can actually uh, customize your outfits in, the, in this game as well. So, so we're hey. just about out of time, but before we wrap up, um, I was curious, now that you've had a chance to uh, see some fan reaction for these games, um, how's it been seeing how uh, Pokemon fans have reacted for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? まあ、ちょっと時間が来てしまいましたけれども、え、ま、今回のえ、ポケモンさんの発表されてから、え、多分ファンからの反響っていうのはあるんですけれども、そのま、手応えについてお話してもらえますか。そうですね、あの、今回